because of climate change, because of extreme weather, there are growing crises uh, in water in the southwestern part of the United States. When there's a real question as to whether or not Lake Mead uh, will in fact be viable in another 20 years, whether or not the Hoover Dam will be able to generate electricity. The bottom line is there's only so much water in the Colorado River and I think right now the Colorado River provides water for something like 30 million people. It's, it's really not that big of a river compared to other rivers. The water demands that are projected on the Colorado River are going to outstrip the amount of water supply that we have available in the Colorado River. And uh, it may be that it's going to lend itself to a big fight sooner than people thought because there isn't going to be enough uh, Colorado water. We're in a drought right now in the Southwest, but we've seen worse droughts in the historical record and the instrumental record and the paleoclimate record. Droughts that could make current arguments and fights over the Colorado look like nothing. At a certain point, there's not going to be any more water, and therefore the planning of how to manage the, uh, the amount that exists for the increasing demand uh, is, is going to become critically important. But it's a total rethinking of how we live and how we operate. That is a difficult task. It's hard to tell people in California that where two-thirds of the population lives, there is very little water resources. As the Southwest is the fastest growing, most vital part of America, one of them anyway, and uh, they're not going to give up. I mean, they're going to use the water until you know hell burns over and uh, they're going to grow. What's going to happen is at some point in time uh, the rubber's going to hit the road and you're going to see an explosion of uh, controversy because uh, land use planners have not done what they should have done. And I think people have sort of overlooked this issue. In my discussions with our, our water agencies, they, they say that they have planned, but I don't necessarily know that they've planned as well as they need to. My concern is that we're going to have Native communities who are really going to be looking at a time when they're going to have their water resources drying, dried up. Well, every morning, you know, every morning at dawn we pray. Then the second thought is, do we have enough water? Should we haul water today? And it, how long will this water last? There is no physical infrastructure to get water to many of the dwellings of uh, people, for example, on the Navajo Reservation, uh, same thing with electricity. So there are circumstances uh, in our own country which are, uh, in other, in other uh, parts of the world, would, we would think of as third world conditions. Sometimes the water that we believe is safe, then we find out that it's not safe and it causes health issues. And clearly our water management system is focused on those who want to extract and use the water supply, not specifically designed to protect rivers, ecosystems, and habitats. And they're really taking the brunt of a lot of our decisions. We have to have, at the national level, land, water, air policies, uh, that reflect the danger to our country and to the planet. And if we don't, uh, then we will look back at this as a point where we had a chance to do something about the greatest threat to our planet, and we ignored that opportunity. The only time I think people understand the importance of water is when all of a sudden they don't have it. And the fact that without water there is uh, no quality of life.